And now for my next number, I'd like to return to the to the to the classic. Zach is a bitch. Welcome back to the podcast. Well, you know how it goes. I'm just gonna start it off. Um, I've been hearing a lot of different stories around what I'm about to say. It's been kind of bothering me. Um, Listen up, folks. So, all right? Stinky racist is trying to say something. Super important, guys. Um, when you're getting your ice cream, when you go to order your ice cream, is it caramel or is it caramel? It is caramel. And let me explain to you why. Because caramel sounds stupid. <laughs> I rest my case. But I love seeing caramel to fuck with people. See, for me, I feel like the way the way I uh, yeah, by all means, say things stupid. One of my homies he used to fucking say things so dumb, like all the time. It was it was beautiful. It was part of his, of his uh, you know, his ambiance. Okay, Shout out T Bone. Um, but he would say shit like Valero and fucking I don't remember. Valero was the one we would hear all the goddamn time, but. He would say stuff Great like that all the time. So yeah, dude, be you. Make shit up. It's all. It's cool. There isn't language, and all this. It's just a it's all construct. It's yeah. It's made up. It's literally just you analyzing other people's sounds they're making with their stupid monkey mouths. All right. Who cares? Say your own shit. Uh, My mom is calling me, and I am not answering that shit. Ha, ah, mom. Yes. Yeah, suck it forwarded but um what was it caramel caramel oh, caramel yeah, yeah. toppings um so the way i would settle it is okay so one of my favorite candies is salted caramel and salted caramel sounds even dumber than just caramel salted caramel caramel or caramel caramel salted caramel chocolate covered salted what caramel caramel um. Yeah, cranimal. 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 Dark chocolate with cranimal. Do you remember the manimal? Manimal. Yeah, dude. I forget his name. He played for the Utah Jazz. Shout out, manimal. <clears throat> Not important. Sorry. Uh, caramel. Carnival. Carnival. <laughs> carnival. 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 We're going to carnival. You're going carnival. You're like the carnival. <laughs> Caramel, caramel, caramel. Uh, but yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't think it really matters. There was that whole like when the was it the Nestle caramel crunch or whatever came out, and it was caramel. like, <laughs> oh my god, I'm an idiot, dude. The Nestle caramel crunch came out. Fuck, I'm so stupid. Oh, it's so funny. Oh, uh, but there was a commercial with Shaq <laughs> and I think Lil Bow Wow. Nice. And uh, yeah, they were they were arguing over how to say whatever. Hey, you remember that Aaron Carmel? Carter song, "How I Beat Shaq"? How I beat off Shaq. <laughs> I beat Shaq <laughs> stick. Because <laughs> I'm a child actor, and you always gotta blow. Gotta get bunch famous. of dudes, including Shaq's. You remember the famous big old brand? black dickies? What? The famous brand. Oh yeah, dude. Was it Stars and Straps? Famous baby. Get your lip pierced and dye your hair black. Let's fucking go. Oh my god, my chemical romance. What was uh what? Was it? Was it email? I thought it was uh Oh uh, okay, actually you know what? Dirt bikes. It was. Was it dirt bikes? It was bikes? like the emo dirt bike kids yeah. that were also kind of into monster a little too much. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's what that's what, what I think of. They're they're uh yeah, no doubt. Mm. No doubt. Makes sense. Lines up. Yep. <laughs> Teed it up. <coughs> so Knocked we play uh we play music. We're in a band. Yep. Not not important. But uh one of our songs is called Constant Thoughts. No, it's not. It's called That Ho Over There. Exactly. That's and I want to talk about that. That Ho Over There. Yep. Um I did not know that's what that meant. Oh, thought? Yeah. Yep, that I thought it was just there. one of those, you know, young slang terms that the oh, young yeah. kids are using. You, th- you thought you were getting razzed? <laughs> I thought I was getting razzled-dazzed. <laughs> oh, you it, thought I was just capping? 
You thought you were Captain? <laughs> you thought I was Captain, bro? No joke. Dude, yeah, I watch all the ass. Fortnite videos, so I know all the cool lingo. Do you? Hell yeah, cool cat. You capping fam? Skip it a bat. Huh? You capping fam? Dude, no cap. No, no cap, cap, baby. Dead. Dead ass alive. Dude, dead. <laughs> Rubber ducky. Hey, remember when Go Hard was the thing? Go Hard. Dude, that was the worst one. Oh my fucking go. God. Oh. Dude, that goes so fucking hard man anybody if you're still using go hard you're the fucking man all right if you've been sticking it out this long you're my fucking hero man dude remember those still going hard just go so hard (laughs) (laughs) just go so dude it's crazy man we get like a bunch of beer and we like go somewhere and we would go fucking so hard so hard we get hard (laughs) (laughs) that's the what we should have been saying the whole time (laughs) that gets hard bro (laughs) (laughs) I get so fucking hard, bro. <laughs> dude, are you getting hard? Yes. Get hard. Uh, I guess it's time. Fuck it, dude. Okay. There's a song called Too Close, I think. I don't know. It's a 90s R&B song. <laughs> My wife and I were getting a little tips the other night. We got put on some 90s R&B. Mm. <laughs> the lyrics of this fucking song <laughs> made me so happy. Dude, it's, okay, so the lyrics are... Back up, you dance a little close. I feel a little poke <laughs> coming through <laughs> on you. It's beautiful, dude. That's my most favorite lyric ever. It's it's so beautiful, dude. Beautiful. I like the fucking nineties R and B like like I feel like people try to hide it. <laughs> I try to no, you hide can't deny it. it. <laughs> You're dancing real close. But uh like a lot of times people are like, you know, music and stuff, they're t- all talking about sex or drugs or whatever, you know. Um uh, but a lot of people like use a lot of euphemisms and fucking, you know, metaphors and stuff like that when they're talking about sex. 90s R&B no skips all that bullshit. They're like, "Yo, they literally as soon as the song I'm gonna starts, fuck it's like you. you think she can tell I'm hard right now, <laughs> and then the song starts. Like they're just talking about hard dick dancing, which like 90s R and B are like those, uh, those soft core porn novels. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude. Player I've read so many soft core porn lines. novels. <laughs> oh, to the T. Yeah, gotta love them. Yep. Go down to the go down to Walmart and sit in the aisle and just read a fucking spicy novel, oh, <laughs> dude. While your mom shops, <laughs> <laughs> that's the life, dude. Oh, You're a Walmart kid, just the life. Read some boner mags, dude. That's but, what we were talking about earlier about like strip clubs. If you really, I mean, I get it that you can absolutely pay a stripper to bang you, but I'm a cheap bitch. Also, I'm a married man. I'm a good gun owning Christian, and I don't and I don't do Hell this yeah. kind of thing. But I just never really understood the whole allure of the strip club. Like, aren't, like let's say if you're not doing anything illegal, you know, nothing under the table, you're really just paying for a boner. You're you're paying money. That's why I don't go for a boner. <laughs> yeah, man. You, uh, I mean, it's like it's like taking Viagra when you don't need it. Dude, I think the last time I went to a strip club, not recent, within the last probably decade, pussy. Probably not even that. I don't. Even, I can't even remember what yeah, it you're, was. You're a, I don't fucking you're, know. You're a pussy, obviously. But I remember the bitch wasn't even. We were talking about life, her life. Oh yeah, that's the point to where it got. Oh, she, <laughs> was, she was like, oh. You know, it's and real the, hard. Yeah. And, uh, oh, I could really use kids, some of those singles yeah. you got in your hand there, mister. And then I ran out of money. The song stopped. And I looked over at my buddy like, hey, throw me another 40 bucks. This bitch is telling you about <laughs> life story. Listen, I've done this before, all right? First, you get your dick sucked for like an hour with a, with a condom on. And then you give up. And then you come. <laughs> when she dances on you. That's the way to go. She feels a little poke. Coming through. But talking about going, dude, what a hell of a way to die. What in a strip club with a boner? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I heard that when you get when people get hanged, like all the blood, hung? like it's stopped. Yeah, I get hung, hanged, whatever. Hanged? Yeah, I believe it's hanged. Is it hanged? I don't fucking know, dude. I don't... When someone's hung? Yeah, if somebody's well hung. <laughs> 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 but a lot of times well when people hung. like back in the day when people would like, you know, get yeah. Get they home. Well home. They would fucking their, you know, all their blood pressure would back up and stuff. So they would get like a rock hard boner, like as they're dying. 
Oh, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. What is this sick fuck? Oh, dude. Death, oh, dude. Death that boner. Was... That should be the podcast name. Death boner. Death boner. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. But hell yeah, if you got a big dick and you get hung and you're just fucking just char- large and in charge so out there for you, the next. The way minutes. you would ra- the way you would die is just get hanged. That's hung. fine with me. Hunged. Get hunged. I would love to be hung. <laughs> 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 I would absolutely love that. Yeah, no, no, like of course not. I said if of every you had a big person. dick, it would be cool because then you'd have like you just, poof, and then everybody would know, or all the your women in the crowd would, would know. Like you. we made a mistake. Your big dick would just get hard and reach up to the <laughs> yeah. branch and pick you <laughs> yeah, up. Just save you. <laughs> <laughs> big dick power. That's big dick energy for you. Yeah, yeah. That's how they survive. <laughs> it just takes the fucking noose off your neck. You yeah. fall to the ground and then it gives you CPR. Right? <laughs> Oh my god, his dick's giving him CPR. <laughs> the guards come and try to kill your dick, and your dick fights it off. It's Mary, don't get dick that foo. close. <laughs> <laughs> but not me, man. Yeah. My dick would not stand a chance. My dick is not reaching the rope. <laughs> uh, I mean, it could. Mm-mm. It really <laughs> no, <try>. sir. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Rip it off. The rope could be wrapped around my fucking waist. <laughs> and then there's a pretty good chance we're not making it there. But well, I got the old uh, standard issue, the old white standard issue. <laughs> yeah, no, ins- Inspector yeah. Go Go Big Black Dick. Yeah, no, not not me, man. I would have to fucking. Although that's one positive to this whole you know explosion of the trans community. Dick implants are going to get real good here in the next couple of years. It's going to be a real lucrative business putting bigger dicks on people because it's not just going to be the trannies. It's going to be every dude that's every not in the NBA right, right now. <laughs> yeah. Every, and that's everybody. Yeah. <laughs> every, that's yeah, going to boom. S- you skinny little white bitches, you look out. <laughs> Damn, Your days are numbered. <laughs> someone's going to, we better patent that. Yeah, for sure. Shit. They're on yeah. it. Some mm-hmm. creepy white dude's already on it. What? In his basement. Building a better dick? Yep. That's what I want. I'm not <laughs> smart enough to come up with this idea. I need somebody else to do it. I'll pay for it. Ooh. Silenced. Thank God. It's, Put your phone on silent. I mean, we're doing a professional silent, podcast here. It's the devil calling. This is, uh, this is how you act at work? This is, I mean, this is so highly unprofessional. It's nine o'clock work. Fuck off. Yeah. I don't know who that is, but fuck it's that guy. What's his nuts? Oh, I know who it the is. The leader of the nuts. But I'm squad. pretending I don't know who he is because that would hurt his feelings more than me knowing who he is. And not oh, like I'll him. show him nuts. Yep. Show him how <laughs> Buffalo Bill really <laughs> is. Oh, the lotion does yeah. it. Does it? <laughs> Put it in the skin. Yeah. You know how you left me alone the other night. How I left you? Oh yeah, yeah. I have to leave you alone. So, all right, time to piss. All right, good. Xander's out of here. It's perfect time for me to run my bits. Yep. All right. Okay. All right. Supplies. You need joint compound, trim, a light switch cover for the bathroom, and one inch. Actually, I already got one inch brand new, so never mind. Dude, I've been fucking. It's so goddamn hot in Houston right now. It was 106 degrees today. I work outside like a fucking idiot. I have a college degree, but I work outside. Actually, it's much better, dude. I fucking hated going to the office, man. I don't know. Podcast listener out there. Do you work in an office? Does it make you want to kill yourself? God damn it, I hated working in an office. Plus, I wasn't making any fucking money, dude. I could work in an office if I was making some good fucking money. But no. But I've had some pretty shitty jobs in my life. And I, honestly, the job I have now is it's pretty dope. I don't don't hate it. <clears throat> Other than the fucking heat. But no, dude. I had some shitty jobs. I fucking one point I lived in fucking Xander's house. I slept on his floor every fucking day and rode a bike to Pizza Hut and made fucking pizzas for assholes. 
So that was pretty shitty. Uh, at one point, uh, oh, dude, I worked at H-E-B. That was my first ever fucking job was working at H-E-B. And fucking, uh, <laughs> the best thing that ever happened there was there was this old drunk redneck dude that would come in all the time. And all he would ever buy is like a six pack of like red dog. You know what I mean? Like that fucking, whatever that shit was. It's like malt liquor. Yeah, like 16 ounce can, six pack of it. It might be the last store in the nation to sell that shit. It was our fucking shitty H-E-B. <clears throat> this dude would always come in and get that shit and he was always kind of a dick and i was a bagger at this time but uh he the dude goes gets his beer you know comes in whatever and uh he has like half a cigarette behind his ear and he goes he pays his pays for his fucking you know or rings up his beer fucking pays for it of course with like a couple one dollar bills and some fucking change and shit and like <laughs> he pays for his shit and all of a sudden he goes oh god damn it and just flicks his fucking ear and throws that fucking cigarette out of his ear and it was still like a little bit lit <laughs> and it was behind his ear sure. and he got so mad at the cashier he's like what the that cigarette was lit and she was like uh, i guess i don't i don't know and he's like god damn you couldn't tell me <laughs> she was like she was like i mean i don't i don't know and he was like fuck what the hell <laughs> like, <laughs> i was just sitting there like dude are you fucking yelling at a like 17 year old girl because you had a half lit cigarette on you dude fuck that guy <laughs> oh and then fucking i worked at subway at one point and this lady dude this is the craziest lady i ever May possibly the craziest person I've ever encountered is this big old fat lady, dude. She's wearing like you know one of those spaghetti strap fucking shirts and a fucking like uh, PJs and flip flops. And uh, <clears throat> when she walks into the store, her flip flop gets caught on the door because she's like <laughs> talking to her husband while she's waiting for the door to close or whatever. And uh, her and it breaks her flip flop. She's like, oh what. Blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, my my flip-flop just broke and, like, starts to try to, like, hound me and my manager. Like, we have to pay for her flip-flop for a little bit. And we're like, no, lady. Like, what are you... I'm, I'm sorry that happened, but you broke your flip-flop. That has nothing to do with me. Like, our door broke your flip-flop. You broke your flip-flop, you crazy bitch. And she comes in and she, and she like, <clears throat> she's... uh. She like orders a sandwich and she's like asking for all these extras and stuff. It's like a it's like a hot tuna fish sandwich too. It's like the worst shit. And um she's like, Oh, can I get a couple extra scoop scoops? I was like, Oh yeah, no problem. It's like an extra seventy five cents. How many scoops do you want? And she's like, Well, I mean, come on, then you know, blah blah blah, whatever. Like, you know, just hook me up, kind of shit. Like, no, you fat bitch. Like, get the hell out of here. I don't care about your stupid flip flop. And then we get to the end. I get to the end, you know, I have her sandwich all made and shit, and she's like, Do y'all have any applications? <laughs> I was like, uh, well, no, you, I mean, you just have to apply online and then you can whatever. <laughs> and my manager's like sitting there eating her lunch. She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and like, and asked for an application. I was like, no, you just go online, whatever. And she's like, start, she goes to walk out and whatever. She's like, and I'm going to come back up here for a new shoe. <laughs> and I was like, all right. And then she left and I never fucking saw her again. I was like, the next what? week she shows up. She's a manager. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She shows up <laughs> next week. Undercover boss with all the cameras and stuff. God damn it, dude. Yeah, that lady was insane. Yep. <laughs> but what can you do? What can you do? I don't know. What else, what what uh what shitty high school jobs did you have? Um, also I worked at Subway when I was a grown grown man. Yeah. Oh dude. twenty twenty four, twenty five. Anyways, We've all shitty been jobs. There. Uh, my first job was, uh, at the skating rink. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was the skate counter guy. Skate <laughs> gals. Uh, how often did you say the, the, uh, um, Days and Confused line? Like, <laughs> you know what I like about I high mean, school girls? I was 15 girls. years old. I know, but come on, dude. The girls were like 14 and 13. If I worked. As the skate dude. <laughs> oh, dude. Dude. I'm saying that all day, every day. Every time anybody talks to me. <laughs> I would I would leave my number in the skate shoes. Oh, the yeah, dude. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> like, oh, they're the going to put their days. thing on. Just look back at me. I'll just be over there just working on a skate. Like, <laughs> just wait, tightening it down <laughs> way too far. Not just doing to flex anything. Yeah. Just looking like I'm just, I'm just Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then our friend was the DJ, <laughs> so we'd always shout me out. This this song's for Xander back at the skate counter. Go <laughs> say what's up. And then he'd just run off and skate around and put like a, some dope ass tunes on, and I'd just be like throwing uh, fucking devil horns up, just telling people to come by, get their skates. 
also would sell a little bit of dope. <laughs> you weren't selling weed when you were no, 15. No, I wasn't. Not yet. But as soon as you got that pickup truck, boy. <laughs> you're out well, there. Well, no, what we were handling. doing, though, was, uh, what are they called? Screwdrivers. What? Screwdrivers? Uh, What's it called? Uh, like, like Meineke oil loop on a screwdriver? You never done this? I don't know what you you're put, talking about. You put gear oil on a screwdriver, mm-hmm. and, and then, then it helps what? it slide. Into your butt? Into your butt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay. But when the... I mean, what kind of oil is it? Uh, Whatever the... Crude oil? <laughs> oh, no, it was crude. That might sting a little bit. <laughs> Prefer a nice no, uh, Vaseline, as everyone learned in the last episode. Screwdrivers, like yeah, orange juice and vodka. vodka. Nice. Yeah. That's what uh, I was drinking. That's what I first dipped my toes into. Dude, I remember whenever I was like, man, I must have been like eleven or twelve, maybe, and this uh, keys from. Up the block. He was actually a comedian. But uh <clears throat> whatever. Uh this dude Keith that lived down the street. Shout out Keith, what's up, dog? Um he came down to the house and he had like a water bottle with a little bit like the bottom was, you know, a uh, fucking Vodka. screwdriver. Yeah, yeah, and he was yeah. like, Hey man, you wanna have a little drink for school? And I was like, Uh no, I'm cool, man. You 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 can have the rest of it, dude. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and I was just like, I never drank before in my life. I'm scared. Oh my god, my mama's gonna hurt me. He Dude, brought alcohol in the house. That shit reminds me of whenever uh, we were in high school and we went to get high. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. And lunch and then he got busted. You know, my life has just been one <laughs> long stream of fucking bullshit where I get in trouble and nobody else gets in trouble and it pisses me off and it's okay. It happens, but God damn it, dude. So we, me and Xander, every day, Pretty much every, I mean, not every day. We weren't like made of money or something, but from the time we got jobs and vehicles, we were like fucking as often as we could, we would leave at lunch and go park in front of my house or maybe his house if my mom was home. And we would, you know, blaze a little crime. You know what I mean? We thought we were gangsters at the time. We were just trying to, you know, enjoy the rest of our school day. So we would do this all the time. And one day we'd, go drive on to my house and then we're sitting there and i remember asking xander i was like you want to hot box this bitch and he was like hell yeah <laughs> hell so we yeah. keep the windows up and we just fog the fucking car out and we're like just cruising and no 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 sitting in front of the house just just chilling fucking oh, yeah. burning down and then we're like all right let's get out of here dude we fucking roll the windows down and we open all the doors or whatever fucking back out you know cruise all the way to school with Wait the windows minute. down i remember cruising Cruising the blunt? Mm-mm. I remember because we were going to go to your your house, but your mom was home. Okay, then maybe maybe that is the situation. But then we wouldn't so, have hotboxed it like that, dude. We did because it was lunchtime. Or it was, I don't remember if it was lunchtime, but because we found that ball. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> God damn it, dude, I do. Okay, so occasionally when we'd be cruising down the streets and we'd see a ball on the side of the road, we're all, you know, not poor kids, but lower middle class kids. So if you, there's a ball sitting on the curb, yeah, dude. You, game. It, it's mine now, dude. Basketball, fucking soccer ball, Especially fucking if you're whatever. Cruising a blow. This one was just one of those big play balls, you know, like the fucking ones you get at Target. That's or what I'm saying. I think we were cruising because we were like, we saw the ball. Dude, grab the ball, grab the ball. I do. Grab I mean, the ball. Yeah. And then we dropped the ball off at your mom's. I don't know. It was weird. Yeah. I think you're, I think you're remembering two things and mushing them together. But regardless, I do remember stopping and picking up balls on the side of the road. <laughs> the little shitheads. But anyways, we go fucking whatever. Whatever. I know we hotbox the car because I remember having that conversation. Like, you want to hotbox it? Let's go. Whatever, you know. Hotbox. Roll the windows down. Drive back to school. Uh, you know, pull up. Fucking go to class. You know, we let, we get in there. Late fucking fuck. tardy bells ringing. Like, oh, shit. Late as you fuck. Know. High as fuck. Hell yeah, dude. Smelling like wheat. Xander goes to his class. In his next class. I went to just, criminal justice. He goes to criminal <laughs> justice class. 
Not a problem. Not a care in the world. Not a problem. He probably took a fucking nap. This teacher came over, hovered over his fucking stanky, blunt-smelling ass. Fucking great blunt. Thank you. Uh, but uh, regardless, I smelled like a pound myself. I had my fucking, you know, hands were all sticky and whatever. I go back to class and found out that my video tech teacher was a goddamn narc. <laughs> and shout out to Chaz. You know who you are. He, whenever my teacher came over, she's like, what is that? What is that smell? She was a, like a black nerd, dude. I fucking, oh, I hated that lady. But she was like, what is this smell? And uh, the my boy Chaz was like, I don't, I don't smell anything. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and uh, I was like sitting there like kind of froze. I was like, what the fuck? And my teacher like kind of walked off and he was like, yeah, dude, you really, really stink, bro. <laughs> and uh, I was like, fuck. I was like, oh shit, what do I do? So I'm like chilling there. And she, what she did was she went to the uh, the phone and called the principal or the nurse or whoever. Yeah. And fucking, she comes back. I'm like standing there and Chaz is like, he's, she's like, yeah, something stinks over here or whatever. And Chaz is like, I don't smell anything. And I like, kind of like was like, Oh yeah. And I just like kind of walked off and he was like, and some other kid or some other kid walked up and I walked off and Chaz was like, Oh, I smell it now. Oh, I think it's this guy. <laughs> some other kid. <laughs> so shout out Chaz. But, uh, she made me go sit in the back room and then I got fucking like pulled from there, went to the nurse's office, got interrogated by the fucking principal. <laughs> fucking in the, there was a cop and the principal and they're like, we know, you're, we high. know you're high. And I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not high, man. I don't know what you want from me. Cause, in my world, you deny everything. Never admit to anything. So, But this was the year that, I don't know if they still do it, but I know in my junior year and senior year, the school was legally allowed to take you and drug test you like as if you were a fucking football player or something. They like, thought you were they could, Yeah, they could do that to punish you. <clears throat> and uh, so I called their bluff, and they put me in handcuffs and put me in the back of a cop car, and me, the principal, and the cop were about to cruise on down the road, and I was like, all right, you know what? I'll take my fucking, and I'll take my alternative school or whatever, because they're going to fucking expel me. So whatever. Admit it to the whole thing. Whatever. Uh, Xander just goes home, rides the fucking, he, you know, he's waiting for me in my car. Like, well, where the fuck is where the fuck did And the go? fucking, dude, the best part about it was, you know, this was my senior year. Um, yeah, it was senior year. <clears throat> the best part about it was is when the school year started, I didn't live at home with my parents or my mom. I lived at an apartment with some of my friends who had already graduated. Yeah. And so therefore I was labeled a homeless student. So they didn't have a record of who my parent was. They ended up calling my elementary school and getting my, <laughs> my dad's like home phone number that Jesus they had gotten in Christ. like 90 fucking seven, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, Damn. and they fucking called him. He calls my mom and the mom comes cause they wouldn't let me leave cause the, the uh, the cop was like, if you try to drive that car, I'm gonna give you a DUI or whatever. And I'm like, fuck you, man, kiss my ass. I'm not even. I, 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 I haven't been stoned since I fucking went to the nurse's he office and had so to deal with you, asshole. Yeah, that's why I told him I'd walk. And he's like, I'll give you a PI. I was like, dude, you're a fucking bitch. Because they just wanted my parents' phone number, and I would not give it to him. But eventually, they found a way, and they got a hold of somebody, and then the whole school district knew that I was a bad boy. <laughs> But yeah, 30 what? days I see. But the valuable lesson I learned going to the alternative school, which in our day was called ISC, and then it was changed and whatever. But going to ISC is that's technically a different school. So you can only miss like 20 days of regular school, but now you're in an actually different school. So now you can miss 20 more days <laughs> before you, they fucking you know start sending court letters sending to your house. Next so yeah, dude, school. I fucked off my senior year, but I graduated and everything was cool. Yeah. I had fucked off as well. I had to go to the courthouse. To, <laughs> you just, got in trouble. Yeah, I had to go because I missed so many days. Truant. I had to go, yeah, sign some truancy papers because I had the grades like barely, but I just didn't have like the like hour like time spent in school. <laughs> yeah, that was my problem too. Shit, but it was just like. I just had to go sign papers with my parents and yeah. they gave me my uh, diploma. Like, yeah. all right, you're good. But still, even then, school's a sham. Yeah. I mean, it's, there are definitely, cer there are certainly things Remember that Justin? you get taught in school that are good for you, that are beneficial to you. Now, for the most part, most of that shit really isn't. Now, I understand that there are other things that they can teach in school. Like, you know, people always say shit like, oh, how to manage money, how to invest, how to, you know, pay taxes, that kind of shit. How to cook, you know. Great you could have learned how to cook, too. but, huh? 
A great angle on the butthole pick. Yeah. How to take a proper butthole <laughs> pick. Um, it's certainly something that you should be teaching to children <laughs> in a school. Well, sign a petition. Let's get this shit rolling. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, no, there's definitely a lot of shit that's kind of not that important. But it is and it isn't. It just depends, man. It's I, like a I conveyor wish, belt. I just wish, yeah, exactly. That I wish you would have a better just, options of learn what you want to learn kind of thing. You know what I mean? You're super into fucking... Relevant. Whatever. Relevancy. That's what you do. There's no relevancy. But, I mean, how do you staff a school with like, oh, I need people who are really good at, you know, app development and they're going to have to teach kids how to create apps or, you know, what a, you know whatever. Whatever it is kids want to fucking do these days. Kids don't know what they want to do. Yeah, they do. They want to do OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But that's wrong, okay, everybody? We're going that's to the wrong way. Wrong. <laughs> Totally wrong. You should see my microphone right now. I yeah. Grabbing it. Oh, hell yeah. Let me get that picture. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. You're seeing this live in action. Or whatever I'm trying to say. Live and direct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's such a good fucking picture. Uh. For the pod. So this podcast is somewhere in between homophobic and homoerotic. <laughs> We're gonna dance with that fucking <laughs> flirt with that line until we accidentally end, until pic. we end up kissing. Huh? Let me see the pic. Oh no. That's Please. for my private collection. Send it to me. I wanna make it my profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me edit it first. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good oh my god I cannot wait to add so many more dicks to this picture <laughs> well oh that's something we can fuck with too once they you know for our premium listeners currently uh, for the premies we have no pa- Patreon or whatever website is popular in the future Patron. whenever we're doing this stupid shit um, but I have created the ultimate green screen experience um, so sir it's gonna get real weird. It's gonna get real. Yeah, weird. cause I even have I could even run OBS and fucking just do like a live recording. You can run OBS and live while you have change, OBS. Just put shit behind you while you're talking. Just flop between camera angles back and forth, and just keep just putting t- just the worst shit up behind you. Just Google shit on the internet and just. Yeah. Yeah. Or I could just do it after the fact. And we can wear green but man will suits. But will I? Uh, yeah, we could <laughs> just be floating heads. Just like <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> or it's just, you just see the fucking microphone, just us adjusting the microphone. That's the whole podcast. Just, just two microphones and nothing else. <laughs> yeah. Not even. Everything's green. So it's just, just microphone. You just see it move every once in a while. <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> That's fucking great. <coughs> Especially with this one. Just yeah. Just deep throat it. Just you see the tip of it disappear. <laughs> we'll do it for real. I mean, this is a podcast. People want real, bro. For the content. No, no phony. No foam. No foamy. No, don't be a phony. Hey, this guy's a phony. Don't be a phony. That's a new slang the kids are using these days. No phone. Yeah, what about life before phones? Uh, before phones? Yeah. Uh, Good old days. You had sex with your cousins. You didn't talk to anybody that wasn't in your direct vicinity. <laughs> um, Straight to incest? Yeah, and everything in Europe was leading to Nazis. We're fags. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Pardon, sir. Um, what, was it? what did I just say? You said, "I wonder what it's like before there were phones." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like any type of phone. I remember, like, so when was the telegram invented? Like eighteen thirties or some shit. 
It's like the fucking... 72. 1872? <laughs> I have no idea. If you're right, 1972. Cool. Oh, yeah. 1976. Uh, they finally invented the automobile. <laughs> remember, uh, I remember just like going to do stupid shit physically as a kid without the internet. Oh, yeah. Just like ride your bike or skateboards or go r- roll down a hill. Yeah. Or was, yeah. go skimboarding in puddles and One roll of my around favorites. and just like just being wild yeah. human beings. One of my favorite activities back in a time when there were no consequences was trampoline, WWF style, professional wrestling. That was everyone's dream. Dude, it was so much fun. Dude, and then Slam Ball came out. Oh, act, I don't know. You remember that? Mm-mm. Slam Ball? Oh, the Slam Dunk fucking, yeah, dude. The it was basketball on, like, on Spike TV. Yeah, Fuck yeah, 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 dude. That, yeah, I remember. Slam Ball, yeah. remember that shit? Dude, it was like, it was, okay, so it was N1 mixtape. Which was fucking dope, and then Slam Ball comes out, and it's like, oh fuck yeah! So it's like, uh, dude, yeah, the yeah, alternate, yeah. the alternative basketball when we were growing up was so fucking good, dude. Because NBA is always NBA, but that shit where it was just like, you know, there is no traveling, just fucking get the ball to the hoop and then, to the face, yeah. fucking no fouls. Mm-hmm. That was good shit. And then yeah, trampoline, dude. Trampoline basketball is fun. Pool basketball. That was always a good game back in the day. Oh, dude, you know what was fun on trampoline? Fucking shout out JB. JB had a trampoline when we were growing up. And he, not only did we tie shoe or tie our shoes to a, like a skateboarding deck and skate, like, you know, like basically like oh, do snowboarding grabs and that. stuff like that. That motherfucker put, tied, uh, he took all the, he took the wheels off his bicycle and tied fucking uh, like washcloths or taped washcloths to the like the where all the spokes and all the pegs and everything and then we had a fucking bike that we could fucking jump on the trampoline with the bike dude that shit was so much fun man so much fun good times and then there was one kid uh lived down the street uh his name was also jonathan i think maybe justin i don't know grayson doesn't matter he's one of the kids that lived on the street and he had a trampoline at with a basketball net a basketball goal next to it and that shit was fun but it was Josh. He, no, it wasn't Josh. Josh had a trampoline, but he didn't have a basketball goal next to it. Um, Sorry. Actually, actually, I saw uh, old Monkey Josh <laughs> uh, not too long of, ago. Uh, rhymes with uh, Sprinkle. Oh, no. I, I never hung out with him. No? Uh-uh. Okay. I never, no. I know what you're talking about. But, no, on, on like, my street growing up. I'm sure the listeners are just absolutely just intrigued <laughs> with where kids <laughs> lived when we were growing up. But anyways, there's a kid on my street, and he yeah, he had a fucking basketball goal next to his trampoline, but he got his arm stuck in there one day, and like he dunked and went too hard, and his elbow got caught, and he was hanging up there. Um, so yeah, we that that stopped abruptly. Dude, I remember, but it wasn't Grayson. Um, Grayson was the kid that lived over there. It, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Who cares? One time I walked up in uh, Chad and. JB were playing basketball. Remember, we always played basketball. Oh yeah, in driveways. Chad had like his fucking Allen Iverson sleeve. Yeah, and... yeah. So <laughs> we got real into like driveway basketball with yeah, like yeah, the bro. whole neighborhood, which was like before phones. You know, like whatever. We just drove around on our bikes and skated around and met yeah. up with people. I mean, and I had then... a phone, but it was a Nokia fucking brick. Oh my god, I, I, I had snake a phone occasionally, but that was it. Uh, well, it depends on what. What area? By the time I was skateboarding, I had a fucking phone. But before Not that, junior high, yeah, junior. You had a phone in junior high? Yeah, I was pretty bald. I had a, I had an older Damn. sister. I had an older sister who had a phone, but privileged since, son of a bitch. Well, I got to go skateboard. So going in skateboarding, my mom had to be able to get a hold of me at any time. So in junior high, I got me a Nokia brick. I didn't have a phone in junior high. It was late junior high, but it was once I started skating. It was eighth grade for sure. <sighs> I had a point I was getting to, but I got sidetracked because you got a fucking cell phone. You said something about before phones and talking about being wild kids and having fun. Fuck, man. I had a point validly. (coughs) You were talking about basketball and also. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chad and JB were playing basketball and Monkey Josh and one of our Cody was, they they were beasting or bullying 
Chad mm. and JB for some reason. They were because they're shorter dudes. Yeah. Whatever. They didn't have some advantage on them, so I rolled up and they were just trashing Chad like. Chad was getting fucked. Like, yeah, he's getting frustrated. He was getting pissed. <laughs> so I roll up and I was like, hey. And they got started shoving matches, whatever. And Chad pissed off, went home. Yeah. So I stepped in and, like, I fucking just demolished him. Yeah, saved the game. Saved the game. And then we went back down to Chad's house and he was making a big fucking scene out of it. But either way, what I'm trying to get the point is... You're the great white hope. You're the greatest white basketball yeah, player. Yeah, I'm basically the DP Larry history. Bird of the millennial age. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> but don't be a bully. Yeah, dude. Don't be a fucking bully, you Fuck fucking you pussy, you're a bully. dude. You little bitch. Bitch ass. Yeah, you little hoe. You can't even play basketball. Ass, bitch. bitch ass. <laughs> <laughs> Start shoving. <laughs> Uh yeah, so I feel like being a bully is relative because I was apparently a bully, but that's just because I was raised by people who talk shit to each other pretty much constantly. Were you a bully? Uh, so fun story. Uh, in junior high, there was a kid who apparently rode the bus. I don't know his name. I wouldn't say it on here if Fuck I did. Him. But he rode the bus with me. He uh wrote up a little hit list one day, you know. People he was going to kill because Columbine just happened. Everybody was super oh, into school about. shootings. You know, it was before it got all fucking weird. Um, but everybody had their stupid little hit list. and uh, Or at least all the weird nerdy kids. Uh, but this kid had me on the hit list. And mom didn't tell me until like I was like a senior in high school. And I was like, and she was like, I actually have the kid's name written down or whatever. And she like told me what the name was. And I was like, I have no clue. Who the fuck that is? But apparently he rode the bus with me every day. And I was that much of a menace that he wanted to murder me. Now he didn't have the means to do it. Yep. Don't be like Cletus. Yeah, don't be like me because I'm a fucking bully. Because he is a fucking bully. No, I was never a bully. And actually, I was usually pretty cool with the nerd kids. But, I mean, I also like... You did win what? Uh, okay. What'd you win in junior high? Okay, guys. Okay, guys. It wasn't junior high. It was high school. Now our ninth grade campus no, was, was separated. High. Our ninth grade campus was separated from the rest of the high was school. Was it ninth? I can go get the trophy right now. <laughs> I was voted freshman class favorite. It was he me. He was. And uh, Catherine that. Records. Oh, whoop. sorry, Catherine. I don't even know. No. But who cares? Um, me and old Catherine. Uh, we were. I was the male, and she was the female for freshman class favorite. That's just back when schools were super repressive, and they were pushing the hierarchy super hard. You know, super segregated. Yeah, and now they have the fucking the the man f- class favorite, the then the woman class favorite, and then the trans class favorite, and then the like the the He's kin, him. the other kin, the shims. Yeah, the fucking furry class favorite. You know all that. So it's they're very oh, inclusive these days. But back then it was just male and female. You know, binary yeah. bullshit. Uh, <laughs> anyways um, But no the only reason I won that Is cause there was a girl Who I shouldn't be naming people but there was no. a girl who like Liked me and got all of her friends To vote for me because she wanted me to whatever Um, So it was literally at lunch one day everybody had to vote And I had like four girls going Or five girls going around going You should vote for this guy Oh my god Who I voted for you voted for me, and if you didn't, you're a bitch. I'm trying to think. Um, my brain cells aren't helping me at all. You probably got tricked by those girls too. Probably. They went around all lunch and were like, "You should totally vote." Probably because I was trying to stick my dick in one of her friends. Yeah, all of them. Because they were. I I remember. Okay, I remember now. Let's not bring it up. Next topic. Yes. And these weren't even like popular girls. These were like <laughs> volleyball and softball girls. But they went the around. Dykes. And I mean, I wouldn't go so far to say that, but <laughs> <laughs> no, they were dykes. Well, I mean, some of them eventually came no, out. No, they were dykes. It's, it's okay, fine. It's not a big deal. Okay, listen. They just they rip your heart out. And <laughs> I hate lesbians. <laughs> I hate Never them. bang me, dude. I fucking hate. No, them. they're not lesbians. They're dykes. Oh yeah, dykes. Uh, I hate dykes. No. Yes. <laughs> yes, you hate dykes. I don't hate anybody. Okay. Just bang me, all right? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Just 
fuck me. I'm just joking, man. I love the dykes. Yeah, me too. Honestly, that's Texas I, City honestly dyke. going back to la- the last love episode. Fishing. Anybody who's following the canon, uh, if I was gonna be a porn star of any kind, lesbian. I would, I would want to be a lesbian porn star. Like you wish you were a female. And yeah. Okay. She had a sweet ass snatch. Wait. So boobus. Can I just say that I'm a female? And going to lesbian? Yeah, but I want a real vagina. Oh, I can give you a real vagina. What? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Working with your fucking scalpel techniques. Um, Are you the guy that's going to invent the perfect vagina? I mean, we know it's somebody else who's going to invent the perfect penis, but we were talking about this last time, too. <laughs> Dye your butthole pink. Then you have a vagina. <laughs> yeah. It's not like Stinky lying. vagina, but a vagina. Shit, smelly vagina. <laughs> Shitty vagina. <laughs> Just a stanky pussy. Yep. Um, we got any sport rants today? Clint? Sport rants? Yeah, dude. Here's what I gotta fucking say, man. It's July. It's hot as hell. What the fuck, man? It's hey, yeah, it's hot, but like, come on, let's. Let's play football, man. I just want to watch some football. <laughs> All right, let's just stop. I, I get it's hot. And it's if you're going baseball, summer, I can handle it. If you're listen, going football, right. I can't handle it. Okay. Baseball. You want to hear my baseball take? Yes. Baseball rant. All right. What about the trade for the, the Asian pitcher? No, Shohei Otani? Yeah. What's going down with that? Is that happening? Oh, it's happening. All right. We got Yao Ming and we got fucking <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Lin. And we got the hi- uh, history repeats. Yeah, Kaz Matsui, and they're all trying to get this dude over to H Town. But actually, uh, it's not happening. No, it's not happening. And honestly, the shit that they've been talking about is like getting rid of fucking so like it's Kyle just, Tucker and right. fucking you all know, that Diaz that. and fucking yeah, it's and it's our crazy. Staff isn't that bad. Yeah, dude. So, fuck, yeah, no, I, I mean, I, listen, it would be he's a absolutely move. a fucking like. A, a crazy talent. It's, he's a two way like, player, uh, and he's a really good two way player. The Rockets it's getting crazy. uh, what's his nuts? Chris Paul or not Chris Paul? Who the fuck was that guy with Harden? Who I mean, Chris Paul. Uh, Chris Paul did play with Harden. Westbrook, no. Oh yeah, Westbrook. That. Yeah, it, it's like that was honestly, dude. I love the Rockets, and I've always loved the Rockets. And I've loved watching the Rockets throw my whole life. And when they traded for Russell Westbrook, I stopped watching right. the Rockets. Right. Why are you gonna? I get that there's a there's definitely a faction of fans who like Russell Westbrook and whatever. And I'm not saying he's a bad player or like, you know, whatever. Then. But he was our rival for so long on OKC. And him and Durant and then Durant leaves and goes to Golden State Harden. wins a bunch of titles. And it's like, man, fuck both these guys. I hate them. Steph Curry can suck a dick. And then we bring in no, Russell Westbrook. It's, it's like only started when what? Harden started. Well, I get it. Harden, Harden was Harden OKC, right? The- Huh? Originally, Harden was OKC. Yes, but he was the sixth man in OKC. Still, yeah, that was easy. Well, we got Chris Paul from it's the like Clippers. It's not like it was a thing that kept kept happening. It was but just still once we we acquired Harden, it's like the OKC curse. Boom. I wouldn't go so far to say we were cursed. I mean, we made the Western Conference know. Finals once. We did. And we had the fucking... We had the Warriors had on the ropes, so dude. Close. Their first title. We almost had it, dude. Yeah, Fuck. Very close. Fuck, dude. It doesn't matter, dude. It's fucking stupid. It doesn't matter. Stuff. But <laughs> once they got Westbrook, I was fucking out. Dumb. Um, I was out. And now they got this new young core, and they're kind of exciting, and they were really bad this year, but now they got some more dudes, and they're looking good in the G League, at least well, the clips I'm seeing online. But it's just, I need him to do something. I see the trend of the Texans and the Rockets. Are the Shut Rockets. the fuck <laughs> the up. Texans. The Texans just drafted <laughs> the greatest quarterback of all time. Shout out CJ Stroud, bro. Whenever you listen to this, because I know you're going to listen to it. It's not a big deal. No. Everybody's listening to it, especially in H-Town. But like, Throw me a pass. I, dude, you don't even have to do that. Don't do shit for me, bro. Do it for yourself. But you're going to be great. I already nope. know it. Okay, yep. you're gonna be the Listen greatest quarterback guy. that ever lived. Yep. Tom Brady to is gonna guy. be licking your balls in hell. Tom Brady. Yeah, you're gonna outshine Tom Brady. What about Joe Montana? Joe Montana. I think Joe Montana might be in a different type of. He might be in heaven. 
Nah. You're right. Joe Montana. Piece of shit. Uh, I don't know, dude. I don't have any fucking sports takes. I'm waiting for football season, dude. I go Astros. You know, the All-Star break just happened. Shout out uh, Kyle Tucker. Shout out Jordan for making the All-Star game. Shout out Bregman. Dusty. Um, Bregman was there. Was he? Yeah. I only saw pictures of the other two. Or the other three. But um, shout out Bregman, dude. Breggy Bombs. Let's go. Buy his fucking barbecue sauce and shit. Uh, shout out to all the Astros, dude. Fucking let's go Astros. But if I'm honest, I canceled cable like a year and a half ago and since then it's been real hard to watch baseball games like if you do not have the regional seasons, sports channel uh it is seasons pass hard season pass texans season pass versus astros seasons pass price wise Ooh, like which one's more expensive i mean the astros but that's because there's more home, games yeah there's 80 whatever right but it, obviously it's all home games but you get the away games as well no no no, no. Mm-hmm. all home all home it's just, what are you gonna do with a fucking ticket to Kansas City? You never know. What? What exactly? What? What are you? What are you gonna do with the ticket from Kansas City? You know what I mean? Well, I'm not trying to pay. Are you f- gonna sell it? I'm not gonna. Are you gonna try go? to pay full price for a ticket through the season tickets, and then you don't get to, a discount. But no, no, no. The deal is between you and the stadium, not necessarily the team. You know what I mean? Okay. I mean, it is the team. It still is Gay. the team, but you're buying tickets to Gay. this thing. It'd be like every time Tool Gay. comes to Toyota, you fucking bought Tool season tickets for any time they come to fucking Houston. I want this seat at this venue. I love the idea. Yeah, exactly. Tool season tickets. Yeah. You would buy them through the venue. You wouldn't buy them through Tool. I mean, you could, but that would mean you have to follow them around the country. And nobody has enough asset for that. Nobody. Nobody. Well. Well. We're at 51 minutes. Come on, bro. I need nine more know. minutes out of you, dude. Nine more fucking Yeah, minutes. dude. These God are damn. all full I episodes. Oh, well, you, well, you got to leave me again? All right. Well, I'll start talking about other shitty jobs I had. Um, I mean. Oh, you know what you want to know? I worked at a shitty dirt job? factory. What? Oh, I got another one to add on. What you got? Uh, excuse me. Um, I worked in a sandwich shop. Oh, uh, Chester's. Uh, <laughs> Chester. Chester the molester. <laughs> so, he, this, this man, this kind, generous man, he was an awesome guy. Yeah, actually, he's super cool. Um, got me a job. Shout out, Chester. Because he couldn't trust his own son <laughs> <laughs> to run anything. But, um... Got me a job. I was just making some sandwiches, you know, slicing the meat, slicing the cheeses, grilling up the fillies. You know, I came up and visited you one time. Tomatoes. And there was this, it was so funny because there was this female there. I can't remember her name, but. Um, but you loved her. Uh, partially. Partially. I think at the time I was in a, I was in a strain because I was talking to someone, and but the girl was there. But I was super young, and I was just like, it was super weird because the Chester's <laughs> son wanted this girl, but the girl didn't want him because he was a fucking weirdo. Like he was a piece, a piece of work. Anyways, I ended up trying to get with her, and she was, dude, she was freaky. Yeah. Like I'm talking about whole junk grab like i'm about to, like I'm, <laughs> wait did she grab you by the pussy yes <laughs> yeah dude while i'm cutting meats on the deli slicer oh I'm like, dude Shing. that'll get any Shing. girl horny bro you Shing. kidding me dude i was cutting some nice prosciutto and some salami <laughs> some mozzarella hey bro i know i went up there and got a philly cheese one day bro it was on um, <laughs> point son, yeah dude. because she's giving me a tuggy Hell while yeah, i'm dude. working it was a little salty <laughs> and the best time the best time of night was when we did the dishes oh shit because i don't know why it was just fun <laughs> There's not a story behind that. Just, I kind of like washing dishes. Yeah. Well, it was my duty. If you get it? <laughs> it? It was my dude. E. Wait, was this a guy? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. All right. Did you poop on her? Oh, and the thing was also about this uh, lady, female, nice lady. Uh, she was married, 
So that's why I felt so weird about it because I, I, I obviously I was single, whatever, but she oh, was married. Right. This is and striking some... she was kind of making moves towards me, but she was married and I, I, I didn't know what to think about it. And I, 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 you, so young, so rock hard, so full of cum. I was just like, Meh. you know what? I'll go for it. And I went for it. And then the one time, the one opportunity took hold for me to seal the deal. Um, Obviously, I was wearing condoms at the time. Mistake, understandable. <laughs> that's, that's mistake number two. And I pulled out the condom and she told me she was allergic to latex. Oof. So I had two options. Uh, rain check Obviously. or raw dog it. So I, I called the rain check. Oh, what a I called the rain dude. check, man. I felt so no. horrible. Because here's, here's what you do. Oh man, I I it was so bad, so no. bad. And you got a I, rubber I was... band and just <laughs> tie that rubber band nice and tight. Your dick will stay hard. You won't be able to feel it. Balls will fall yeah. off. Yeah, your ball. If it, yeah, if you leave it on there for too long, your balls will fall off. <laughs> That's how they cra- castrate bulls. Yeah, yeah. Do that. Tie around the. Okay, never mind. Okay, then just castrate yourself, and then you don't <laughs> have to worry about it. It's like, all right, we're gonna do this. Hold on, let me just. Tie this was, real uh, tight. <laughs> and then I got with another girl because all that drama was happening. I didn't want to. There was a lot of drama going on being that. But then I got with this other girl and then Chester's son fucked her while I was in jail. Yeah. <laughs> There's so much more to that fucking story. So much more. The, oh, the my story God. continues. That's hilarious. <clears throat> um. I can't remember if it was you or who it was. I mean, it was. It doesn't matter. But uh, there was this one story that I heard. And by the way, all these stories are just bits when you grew up. Yeah, there's one story this, that none of this is true. That isn't true. That is alleged. Um, but somebody had sex with a girl, and then somebody else went later to go have sex with that same girl, potentially on the same night. And uh girl said that the first guy had a really tiny wiener <laughs> and some reason i think you were involved <laughs> and you weren't the first guy <laughs> well so shout out to my boy xander with the big dong <laughs> well <laughs> i think we know it's pretty evident uh, but the one person who knows what we're talking about is <laughs> if you're listening right now <laughs> Suck a dick. Puto. I don't remember. <laughs> Tiny little dick. But that makes me feel a whole lot better. <laughs> you don't remember? Okay, then it wasn't you. Then it does not have a big dong. Well, he definitely Actually, wasn't it's kind of coming back. I, <laughs> I believe that she was a caramel colored lady. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> and the light. Okay, oh. the lighthouse is beaming again. Yes, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't? Yes. Good to know that wasn't you. I remember you. now. It's all coming back. It's all coming back. It's all coming back. back. It's all Holy coming shit. Back to this me is a totally now. different story. I thought I, we were on <laughs> one thing and it just pivoted. Yeah, dude, I pivoted to hard. a totally it just different, reminded me of a different, different story thing. That no details need to be ex- explained. Uh, the dogs know what's up. Um, but yep. uh, <laughs> it's got to be a pretty good feeling. Be like, yeah, whoa! Like, I'm glad your dick is bigger than that fucking guy's dick. Ooh, thank God. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't even gonna bang you, but his dick was so small. <laughs> that now it's I like have a relief. to. <laughs> I have to get something else. Oh man, that's fun. Yep. Uh, dick stories, dude. I remember uh, when I, when I when I lived in that apartment when I was in school. But I lived on my own my senior year, uh, and there are several people who can verify this story, so find them on the internet and ask them. It's verifiable. Uh, totally verifiable. Uh, we had a foosball table that we would play foosball in, right? And, you know, one of my favorite party tricks whenever I had a little too much Goldschlager or a little too much, you know, <laughs> too many high lifes, you know, whatever cheap bullshit they were selling. 
one of my favorite party tricks was to you know the hole where you put the ball through Dude, I oh. loved putting my dick in that hole, dude. <laughs> <laughs> People would be playing foosball, and it would be the most intense game ever. And I have a couple of bruises, dude. I got I got hit in the fupa pretty fucking hard with the fucking stick a couple of times, but it's worth the bit. But you just walk up to the table, and you're like, oh, you guys, blah, 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 who's winning? You know, say whatever, blah, blah, blah. Somebody scores a goal. Now you have a minute. Get in there. Stick your dick in that fucking hole, dude. Get Drop trial and put your dick through the hole, dude. Make sure it's on the end stroke. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, it's so much fun. <clears throat> so if you have a foosball table, uh, some of them have that little cup on the end. Get rid of that cup, man. I mean, unless you don't need to, in which case, kudos, bro. Unless your dick's really uh, small, you can fit yeah. your whole balls and yeah. your whole junk in it. Just hell yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder them. if everyone's if full the uh, ER has got that call. Like you go to shove your oh, dick yeah. into the hole. The fucking jaws of life are cutting you out of a fucking <laughs> cutting the side of the fucking foosball table out. Yeah, yeah, if you have I don't a know what happened here. <laughs> if you have a metal foosball table with sharp edges, Ooh. don't do it. Castration. Yep. Oh, dude, that shit sucks too, man. Like fucking castration. No, I mean castration. I'm sure, but uh, <laughs> more like my fucking late fucking my <laughs> my mid twenties fucking circumcisions. <laughs> oh, the late fucking, circumcised. Yeah, getting circumcised super late. Uh, no okay so this is like my second or third one but no dude fucking we were driving back from fucking uh what's that town uh nacogdoches one night or we're driving back to nacogdoches one night we got a case of beer and we're just i'm just chugging beers i'm in the back of this kid's mustang i'm just chugging beers all fucking night go pee and fucking uh i'm chugging beers all the way dude it's like a three hour drive i like four or five and i have to piss and this motherfucker didn't want to stop for me shout out my boy mike you know who you are uh, he didn't want to fucking stop. We were just going all the way through. And actually, uh, Jordan, right? Either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, somebody was driving. I'm back at this fucking Mustang. And I'm like, dude, I got to piss so bad. And they're like, dude, just, just you know, piss in the fucking thing. What's up, baby? Hey. Um, they're like, dude, just piss in the can. I'm like, all right, whatever. Fuck it, I'll piss in the can. So I pop the lid. And I pop the top down, you know, just like bend it and fucking make enough space to get my giant wiener in there. And, uh, yeah, dude, caught the edge, like hit a bump, caught the edge real bad and just like sliced the side of my dick. That was a, that was definitely a fun one. So that was my late life circumcision. Uh, I don't know. What else did I do? Oh, uh, I got kicked out of college. That was fun. <laughs> uh, my college experience was not the greatest. Shout out to my mom for trying, but. She sent me to like a super Christian school and I got fucking booted like immediately, dude. <laughs> uh, cause I got, I got admitted into a fucking party school, dude. Texas State, baby. Let's go, Bobcats, whatever. Got, yeah, I got fucking, uh, Wildcats, whatever the hell they are. I don't know cause I didn't go there. Um, I got accepted in that school. And my mom hid the acceptance letter and she denies it to this day, but she fucking did cause I found it later in life. But, uh, I got accepted into uh, Texas Southern, or not Texas Southern, uh, I got uh, accepted into fucking uh, Stephen F. Austin in Nacogdoches, which is a very, Bible uh, Bell. Yeah, it is a very, very religious type school, um, got caught smoking the Chiba in the dorm, which I'm in college, that's what you're supposed to do, yeah, um, by and law. what happens, they kick me out, They okay, they put me on a probation program where I had to pass a P-test, every, you know, whatever, random P-tests, and they would just tell me when to go, of course I failed my first piss test, <laughs> and they kicked me out of fucking school, they're like fucking assholes, man, it's like, dude, I'm keep making decent grades, why don't you guys fucking leave me alone, they refused. Um, so, yeah, my college, uh, college days were, they were fun, I had a great time, shout out to the, uh, what was it called? Japarked. Japark? Japark? I don't know. We had some stupid group. It was everybody's your, your first your initial roommate? of their first name. Uh, yeah. It started off as Jark. <laughs> and then it became like Japarked or some shit because we got a bunch of new dudes in there. Uh, and only one chick. Bunch of dudes and a chick. Uh, a yeah. lot of circle jerks. Actually, there was two chicks. A lot of circle jerks. Dude, I remember, dude. Okay, so one of our buddies... That I went to school with, uh, he got really wasted one night, and there was this girl that would hang out in our group, and she like, 
you know, she wanted a fucking, she wanted a dude. So she had the hots for this guy, right? She wanted And he bang. wouldn't really give her the time of day. He was always like, oh, no, I'm, you know, he was all gay and stuff. He's like, no, I'm saving myself for marriage and blah, blah, gay. One night, he gets, yeah, he's super gay. Um, <clears throat> and he fucking, one night he gets super drunk and she just fucking took the D, bro. <laughs> he was wasted. She was wasted too. Don't get me wrong. So but she happened. absolutely molested him. Yeah. Um, and the next so morning. she jumped his bones. Oh, yeah. She jumped his bones. He was like. We literally carried him back inside from the car, and then we were all like, all right, we're wasted, blah, blah, blah. You know, we're in town for the weekend. We all go pass out on couches and shit. Next morning, we wake up. Those two come out of the room, and he's like, what the fuck happened last night? He's like so fucking mad, dude. He's like, you guys fucking made me do that, and blah, blah, blah. Because he didn't even really drink that much, dude, he, but he got fucking wasted you made that me. night. You guys yeah. put my dick in her vagina. Exactly. Uh, so everybody was mad at us, uh, but we didn't care. We were just like, oh, thank, the thank God this chick finally sealed the deal with somebody. That thank God <laughs> she got laid. Me. That's all she wanted. But she dude, wanted no. to get laid and then ask God for her forgiveness. Uh, nah, I mean, the people I grew with weren't like super duper religious, but... Um, Sounds like it. No, nah, the school in general is the administration. Um, but sounds no, was, like that fucking guy was, dude, that didn't get laid was, I mean, super religious. He wanted it. He's dancing real close. <laughs> <laughs> You're making it hard for me. <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, he was just wasted. And woke up the next morning, was fucking super regret. But no, that that chick that they hooked up, like that chick would always like she. One of the D. <laughs> like, she would, like, we she would go flying. out and be, like, dancing and stuff. And she would just be like, uh, I'm just going to dance in front of you if you don't mind. And just start, like, trying to grind on, like, different dudes and stuff like that. Everybody. <laughs> well, it was, like, one of those things. We had, like, this crew. None of us were hooking up with each other. We were all kind of just doing our, you know, out, going out, trying to meet people and stuff like that. And one of the girls in our crew was like, nah, I'm going to bang one of these dudes here. <laughs> and we're like, nah, dude, chill. So we'll find you a dude out there. It's not a big deal. But not, not, we don't. We don't not bang within the watch. crew, all right? Not on her vagina. No, watch. yeah, she fucking got it. <laughs> she secured the dong. Of course she did. Yeah. What Champ. female wouldn't? Shout out. Wouldn't. I want to say her name right now, but I'm not going to, but she knows who she is. Shout out. Shout out. Mm -hmm. I'll shout out on that. Shout out. Shout out. Yep. Uh, but that's over an hour, so Zach's a bitch. You're a bitch. Bye. Bitch. Man. Poop. Oh. Zach's a yeah. bitch. You're Zach's a bitch. You're a thought. Or who's going to get that the last over word? There. Bitch ass. What? That hoe she over there. In the corner right Bitch here. ass. Have a lot of hair. Hey, guys. Enjoy the, the like wiener asshole. green screen oh, pick. Love is a lost word. Sex bitch.